Ready? It is time now for my three picks for the first weekend of October. That's right. We're going to have three picks coming up between yours truly and the almighty coin. That's right. This little guy right here. Pick three games against the spread. But before we pick this week's selections, yep, we got to rewind to review last week's picks. I'm a trifle deaf in this ear. Speak a little louder next time. Wow, talk about a rough week. That's exactly what I had. Uh, losing the Oklahoma State-Texas Tech game where I picked over in terms of the point total, which was 82. Yeah, didn't quite make it there. And I also lost USC-Washington State. Not only did the Trojans not cover the spread, but they lost the game altogether just to make matters a little bit worse. So the only thing I could salvage was a Georgia win over Tennessee. So that explains my 1-2 and two record. And as you can tell, the coin had a perfect week going 3-0. and So. Entering the first week of October, it's a dead heat between me and the coin, both at 8-7. and seven. Yes, Buck, I am a picking, and hopefully I'm a winning as well. Let's begin in the SEC, LSU at Florida. Man, what a disappointment the Tigers have been. Yeah, it was a rough September, including last week's loss at home to Troy from the Cell Belt Conference. That's what you paid $900,000 for it was to bring Troy to Baton Rouge and have Troy pull off the upset? Yeah. I don't see it getting much better at all for the Tigers. Florida, they specialize in defense. I'm not expecting a high-scoring game, but if LSU can't handle Troy, how are they going to be able to go to Swamp and win? So give me the Gators, minus 2.5. If the coin lands on heads, likes the favorite tails, likes the underdog, see what the coin thinks. Likes LSU, believe it or not. In the meantime, let's move to the Big 12 for a Saturday evening game from Darrell K. Rural Stadium, Kansas State at Texas. That's right, Big 12 football. And Texas, I know things have still not completely come together for Tom Herman's team after all the offensive line is having their struggles. But the defense certainly has improved, as we saw in last week's win over Iowa State. In the meantime, Kansas State coming off a win over Baylor. But, of course, the Wildcats are known predominantly for running the ball. Texas, they specialize in that front seven and contain the run like they did against Iowa State, holding David Montgomery, Iowa State's running back in check. If they can do that, I think they can contain Kansas State's running attack as well. I look for Texas to cover. So give me Texas minus the five points. And the coin this week, it is going to take, it's going to take Kansas State. And one more matchup to pick. Pac-12, West Coast, Oregon. It's going to be the Ducks hosting Washington State, who's on a roll. The Cougars are 5-0. and Of course, one of the biggest wins in school history came last Friday as a result of beating highly ranked USC. But Washington State's played every game at home so far this season. We're into October, and this is just their first road game. I think that spells trouble. Coming off an emotional win. And now you got to go on the road in a place that's not easy to win. I think this sets up well for the Ducks, even though they're the underdog. Give me Oregon plus the two and a half and the coin. It is going to take Oregon as well. So the coin and I disagree on a couple of games. So it very well could be, just like the movie Over the Top would sing, winner takes it all, loser takes the fall. We'll see if that holds true. Those were my picks for the week. What were yours? Don't forget, my post game of Oklahoma Iowa State will be late Saturday afternoon or Saturday evening, so make sure to check that out. And come back next week for another installment of My Three Picks. See you next time.